It is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Houston, Texas. It is, yes. And we woke up this morning thinking, barbecue. Chick-un barbecue. Well, yeah, chick-un, of course. Yes. But we thought, let's put a little twist on this and make mm -hmm. it an Asian barbecue chicken out of soy curls. That is right. We're going to show you guys how to make this. It's super easy and it is full of flavor. Stay with us. The first thing we want to do is heat two cups of water in the microwave or however over the stove top if you need to. I'm just going to put this in here and I'm going to heat it for about a minute and 30 seconds just till it's warm. I let this heat in the microwave for about a minute and a half and I just took it out. I'm going to go ahead and pour it. It's two cups of water. I'm just going to pour it into a glass bowl. And then I have a tablespoon of better than bouillon, no chicken base. We get this online on uh, Amazon and I'll drop a link down in the description below. So I'm just gonna add this one tablespoon of this to give it our soy curls some chicken flavor. I'm just gonna add that in and I'm gonna whisk this really well just to get it nice and mixed up. The water's warm, so it'll, it should mix really easily. And there we go super quick. All right, so I'm going to use about a half a bag of the Butler soy curls. We buy these on Amazon as well, and I'll put a, a link in the description box below. I wanted to tell you guys, we also recently learned you can buy what they're the called soya, textured soy. Uh, we found this in Fiesta in Houston. It's our eight local uh, Mexican market. You could buy these. They're a little less expensive than the Butler's if you can find them in your store. But today we're going to go ahead with the Butler's, and I'm going to use just about a half bag. We've showed you guys this, uh, these before on our uh, chicken, the buffalo chicken dip. Um, all they are, all they are are just like a textured dried soy. So the purpose of putting them in, in this warm water is to get them rehydrated so that we can put them in our skillet and give them a good cook with our marinade. So we're going to let this sit for about 10 minutes and we'll be right back. Our soy curls have been uh, marinating for about 10 minutes and they're in the liquid that we're gonna use to go into the marinade. What I wanna do is pour these into this colander so I can reserve the, the curls and squeeze all the liquid out of them and then also retain the liquid for the marinade. So here we go, we're gonna just pour these into the colander. We have a bowl underneath it to catch the liquid. So what I'm gonna do is just take the soy curls and squeeze the liquid out of them as much as I can. We got all the liquid out of the soy curls. We're left with this bowl of the marinade that they were in. So what I'm gonna do is add all of the rest of the ingredients except the rice into this bowl. We're gonna mix it well and then marinate the soy curls for about 20 minutes. So the next thing we're gonna do is go in with a half a cup of orange juice and a half a cup of pineapple juice, one third cup of soy sauce, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one third cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of fresh ginger minced, two cloves of garlic, also minced, one tablespoon of better than bouillon vegetable base, and three tablespoons of ketchup. The last thing that we're gonna go in with is a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. This is totally optional. If you don't want a lot of heat, you can reduce the amount or you can omit it altogether. We need to whisk this until everything is well combined. The last step before we put the soy curls into the marinade is to reserve two tablespoons of this liquid because we're gonna make a cornstarch slurry out of it towards the end of the cooking time. There's my two tablespoons, and then we're gonna add the soy curls in now. Next, we're gonna put the soy curls that have already been rehydrated into this marinade and get them fully submerged so that the marinade penetrates all parts of it and gets it really nice and tasty. I'll stir this up just a little bit here. Make sure everything is coated well. And it is. So we're gonna set this aside for about 20 minutes, let it marinate, get nice and tasty, and we'll be back and we'll be ready to cook the soy curls. All right, our next step is gonna to be to add two tablespoons. We're gonna use avocado oil today. You could probably use any other neutral oil you like. I'm just gonna kinda of eyeball it, 
And about one, about two. And that looks about good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the burner. You guys can see that this has uh, marinated for about uh, 20 minutes and it's soaked up all that wonderful flavor. So the next step we're gonna do is go into this skillet with all of the soy curls and see if I can do it without making a mess. There we go. Get all the marinade in there. And what we wanna do is bring this up to a boil, put a lid on it, and then turn it down and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can see this has come to a beautiful full boil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and cover it, turn it down on medium low, and we're gonna let it simmer for about 15 to 20, maybe 25 minutes, and then we'll be right back. Simmer down now. Simmer down now. This has been cooking for about 25 minutes. I wanna let you guys know we took, we left the lid on for about 10 minutes. I took the lid off just so that we could let some of that uh, moisture reduce out of here and um, reduce down a little bit. So I'll update that down below. The next thing we wanna do is make a slurry because we want to get this a little bit thicker. So I have a tablespoon of cornstarch. And then remember I reserved a couple of tablespoons of that marinade. So I'm just gonna go right in with that. Just gonna mix this up really well. If you haven't used a slurry before, what this does, it's gonna, when you mix it like this, first of all, mix it with a liquid, the cornstarch with a liquid, and then you can put it into your dish and it will thicken it up for you. All right, that is nice and mixed. So what we're gonna do is just go right into our boiling, or it's on a slow simmer, actually a boiling or slow simmer. So I turned the fire up just a little bit so it would come back up to a medium boil so this would thicken. And it is starting to thicken. You can see what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it back down just a little bit to a, a medium low. Look how beautiful and thick that has gotten. It looks wonderful, it smells incredible. We are gonna plate this up and give you guys a taste test. Sadie, are you bored? Sadie, are you bored? You want some Asian barbecue chicken? Your enthusiasm is underwhelming. We are back and this smells it incredible. Does. It is just amazing. We're gonna give it a taste mm. test. You wanna go first? No, you go first. Okay, I'm gonna go in and you see. See how good your chopsticks are. <laughs> skills. My chopstick skills are good, by the way. Tell me, how how does it taste? Oh my goodness. Oh. It tastes like one of the, probably one of the best Asian dishes I've ever had. Mm. It is so salty, but the taste is amazing. It's from that soy sauce. Yep. This is just wonderful. You can taste, you can taste the ginger, you can taste the garlic. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It is good. We have been known to order takeout from one of our local Chinese restaurants, General Joe's Tofu. Mm -hmm. Because we put the spice in here, it kind of lends itself to that flavor. Almost. Not completely. Mm -hmm. It's a very unique, it's got its own flavor. It stands on its own. But mm. the said we put some sesame seeds on, we put some green onions, and it is just, I'm gonna use It is a, amazing. I'm gonna use a fork, because I wanna taste the sauce <laughs> on the rice. I am a, I love rice. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh. Taste that. It's so good. Oh my goodness. And for the rice, all we did was cook up a package of, uh, was it Ben's? Jasmine rice. Love mm -hmm. that stuff. If you guys haven't Wonderful. tried it, I'll drop a link in the description below. That stuff mm. is so good, so easy, ready to go. Um, this has been incredible. Oh, uh, yes, I cannot wait to finish this after this is over. Man, you guys need to try this. This is just, if you want some Chinese food, mm -hmm. if you want some, it's called, we call it an Asian barbecue. Uh, chick un basically, but this is mm -hmm. incredible. Another another thing they can do is if you can make twice as much, you mm -hmm. can actually put it in the freezer and then one night when you oh, need yeah. it without the rice, yep. one night when you need it, just either heat it up in a skillet, and ready put it to with go, some rice and ready get some to of go. that jasmine mm. rice, pop it in the microwave, and you are ready to that go. That is amazing. We want to give a shout out to our old neighbor, Ed who used Hi, to live next door to us when we lived in Spring, Texas. We stole this from him. We stole this from him. We, he actually <laughs> gave us his recipe for Ed's Asian barbecue chicken, which back then we ate chicken. Mm -hmm. And we made it, and we have been making this ever since, and it's just so good. Ed, thank you for the recipe. Yes. Can't thank you enough. Hope you and Liz are doing well. Shout out to you both. 
But um, thank you guys for stopping by today. This mm -hmm. has just been so much fun. We got a beautiful day outside. I wish you could, could see outside yeah, here. It is, yeah. The sun is shining. Sadie's in a great mood. She's just had her dinner, so she's doing well. But we appreciate you guys stopping by and mm -hmm. hanging out with us. And if you have not yet joined our YouTube channel, please do so, Living the Alleyway. We would love to have you become part of our YouTube family. And if you like this recipe today, give it a big thumbs up. And make sure and hit that notification bell. bell. Ding, ding. <laughs> so you never miss a video that we come out with. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. We love each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. We hope you're staying safe and doing very well. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. Welcome back, everybody. No. <laughs> well, hello. No. What are you doing there? I see you. It is a gorgeous day here in Houston, Texas. Outstanding. And, and we are here. Let's time this a little better. Let's do it. <laughs> Come bite him, Sadie. <laughs> Let's start the... No, 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 no. You scare me. <laughs> yes, please. No, that was no. the last video. Oh, God, get it right. Jeez. <laughs> um, <clears throat> any barbecue songs? No, I just get too sauced. But then we thought, let's put a little twist on it and let's make an, <laughs> and let's, <laughs> uh, so good for you. We're going to make this for you. We're going to make this for you guys. It <laughs> Chicken monkey. Nope. Can't kiss you all. <laughs>